Today we're going to talk about the battery assist. The battery assist located right here is actually to connect our house battery and our engine battery. If our engine battery would be depleted and we couldn't start our engine, we can simply push and hold that battery assist button and connect our house batteries. And we can do the opposite of that if our engine cranking battery is charged and our house is low, we can push and hold that button and actually jump start our generator in the rear to start charging our unit. Located right of the fuel pedal is a cable. That cable disconnects the engine start battery from Mercedes. In long-term storage, I would disconnect that cable, but you only want to disconnect that cable after the vehicle has been shut down for 10 minutes. This cable is located just right of the fuel pedal. You have to push down on the red cap and pull out. Underneath our driver's seat are three important fuses. F12 is for our step and awning. F11 is our monitoring system or camera, and F10 is the buzzer or step alarm. Here we want to go over our switches on the inside of our van. The first switch is our main disconnect switch. In the up position, you'll see a light on here, and that's actually giving us power on the inside. If we was to put it in the down position, this light would start blinking and then go off, and our interior lights would go off. However, on the inside on our switch in the back of our interstate, we actually have a remote switch or manual switch that I can actually disable it in the on function or off function where this switch will not work. Our next switch here is for our tank heaters. If I push this in the up position, this will actually send power to our heat pads and our heat pads will engage at a temperature below 44 degrees and stay on until the tank temperature is 64 degrees. The next switch here is for our step. In the up position, as long as we open and shut the door, our step will extend and retract based on the door position. If I want to leave the step out while my door is shut, I simply want to push this switch in the down position or hold position, so when I shut the door, the step stays out. The only way that step will now retract is if I start the engine. The next bank of switches is, our, is for all of our lighting. The first switch is for the exterior sidewall patio light. The next one is our aisle lights down at our floor level. The next switch is for dimmer controls for our ceiling lights. So when we turn those, that switch on, in the up position they're going to be bright. And pushing holding it in the down position, the lights will actually dim. You will notice when we turn the disconnect switch off at the sliding door, the red knob is rotating counterclockwise. When we turn it on, that red knob will rotate clockwise as seen here. So if we manually disconnect our 12 volts from the red knob underneath our jumper seat or disconnect switch, if I was to actually push in and rotate just a little bit more clockwise, I've disabled my switch at the sliding door. So if I was to actually shut my disconnect switch off at the sliding door, this red knob will not rotate. As you can hear, the motor is actually rotating, but the knob is in the locked on position. So all the 12 volt will stay on. So all I would need to do to reset this is turn the disconnect switch on. Once I have the disconnect turned on, it will rotate back to the on position. I can push in on this and just rotate just a little bit counterclockwise. And now I've re-engaged that so I can shut it off from my remote switch at the sliding door. So in the off position, to disable that, I want to push in and rotate counterclockwise. And now if I turn my switch on at the sliding door, my 12 volt will not come on. 